guys? You already know what it is. It's Christian Misfits. You got me, you got Noah. Yup, and today we're about to make a video about Jesus Freak or a real Christian. Stay tuned. Jesus Freak? Are we Jesus Freaks? You know, uh, I don't know. We might be Jesus Freaks or we might be uh, real Christian. Real Christian. What does the Bible say though? Let's see what the Bible says. What's that verse? If you, if you truly love me, obey my commandments. That's the John 14, 15. John 14, 15. All right, we're gonna put that. We're gonna put that yeah. down there for for you guys. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you wanna start? Uh, I'll start it still. All right. <laughs> so I'm gonna make your verses. So, yo, <laughs> is there truly such thing as a Jesus freak? Is there? I don't think so. No. No. There's no such thing as a Jesus thing, freak. Yeah. It's, we always say in all of our videos, it's either you're a Christian or you're not. You know. The reason why we keep bringing up John 14, 15 because it clearly states how if you truly love God, then you would, you would obey his commandments. But now, like, some days people, they like to compromise. They like to switch stuff around. You, you, nowadays, you got people, like, um, underlining a uh, few verses. They take some out. Like, all that nonsense, you know, like, that stuff that God doesn't want. Those people, they... <laughs> They're lukewarm, like there's no other way to put no it. They way. don't they don't truly love God with their actions and those type of people they look at us and they're like, Oh my gosh, see you this guy he loves God too much, da 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 yeah. like, yo, what you like, this is what the word says like, <laughs> he's going too yeah, far. Like, how do we live? We affect the word uh, of God, uh, yo, yeah, by yeah, itself, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. There's always there's always people that like oh you guys they go too hard for God you guys you guys have to simmer it down you, you gotta take you, you guys you gotta simmer it down a bit like start having fun yeah. like, yo, like, yo. So, so saying they want us to go to the party yeah they want us to yeah. they want us to they want to they want us to live for God and indulge in sin that's that's not how it's supposed to be you know a lot of people I know one of one of the people I used to talk to they they tried to tell me I was too Christian I remember seeing this a couple videos back like. I keep repeating sense. it because like why like how can you even say that and, and that person they like okay you know what yeah anyways I took God too serious and like I wouldn't get offended or anything but I'm like can you really take God too serious it makes sense. you know like John 14 15 like if you don't fully obey God's commandments then you don't, love him. You, don't you don't truly love him with your actions like like you said a couple videos back and you know, um what's it called I was gonna bring up one thing like even if you even if you follow 99% of his commandments and that 1% that you don't follow then you don't really feel sorry for his commandments and like it's not one of those where you can be like oh you know what I'm improving I'm improving you know the, like at a point you're gonna know the difference between good and bad and if you and if you still want to compromise if you still want to indulge into sin and all that then you're acting like a fool you know like time, big time like that's what, one of the things you gotta watch out for there's no such thing as a a radical Christian or uh, yep. <laughs> these people yeah. that are too hype Jesus freaks like Jesus no freaks. it's wow. it's either your true disciple or you're not nah. like there's there's no other way to put it like it's crazy that one verse proves it itself and people like they're gonna find out for themselves in judgment day yeah, yeah that's true that's true I, I'm about to pull up a verse just to I guess clear things out for some people that you know, want to call true Christ followers Jesus freaks or two Christians or, or radical Christians because mm -hmm. we actually want to live according to the word at 100%. You have to live according to the word of God. That's the only way you can be made pure. Yep. If you don't, if you like, that. if you don't read the word of God, then you're going to end up being one of those people that are going to say these guys are too Christian. Like, they don't even read their Bibles. Yeah. They don't. It's so... <laughs> Uh, I think it's gonna be a long read actually. I'm gonna go to Galatians um chapter five verse sixteen and I'll continue reading down. And this is exactly what it says. Be guided by the spirit and you won't carry out your selfish desires. A person's selfish desires are set against the spirit, and the spirit is set against one's selfish desires. They are opposed to each other, so you shouldn't do whatever you want to do. But if you're being led by the spirit, you aren't under the law. The actions that are produced by selfish motives are obvious since they include sexual immorality, moral corruption, doing whatever feels good, idolatry, drug use, and casting spells, hate, fighting, obsession, losing your temper, competitive opposition, conflict, selfishness, group rivalry, jealousy, drunkenness, partying, and other things like that. 
I warn you, as I have already warned you, that those who do these kind of things won't inherit the kingdom of God. Damn. It's that simple. It's that, <laughs> it's simple. that simple. And out of all these things that were mentioned, because we, we like to really like hit the youth, right? Out of all the things that were mentioned, like that's what the youth's in. They're in sexual immorality, moral corruption. They want to do whatever feels good. They want to go into wild parties, get drunk, use drugs, everyone's smoking weed, everyone's doing whatever they feel like it. And then they and then they, they feel like it's right for them to, to say that I'm a I'm a Christian and indulge in those type of stuff. And it's wrong because when you follow the word of God, you follow it as a whole. You don't just follow one part and leave others aside. It doesn't work like that. See, the problem with you guys is that you guys do not read your Bibles at all. Or some of you guys read your Bibles, but you don't you don't go deep into it. You don't really want it to mold you. You want you want to read the Bible for for it to fit your thoughts already. But it doesn't work like that. The Bible changes your thoughts. Some people they read one verse per day. That, that's, that's not how it's supposed to help be. you like, the verse of the day i used to do that and like it didn't like <laughs> it didn't help me grow spiritually at all once i took it in that i, I like once i started reading chapters and more books and such like that's when things actually started changing i didn't always have to rely on my my do, my daily devotional only and that's it like sometimes god wants to speak to you and like yep. it's not always gonna happen with that one devotional only <laughs> Like just because it happened to some app, it's gonna it's gonna have a particular devotional for all the people that has that one particular app. Yep. And that's not always gonna be something that God wants to tell you. It could be something otherwise. Yep. But people they don't want to read their Bibles. They like one verse per day, one one time when they wake up, another one before they go to sleep. No. no. <laughs> oh my god. Like, this is really a topic that I don't know really gets me um really gets me pumped to be honest because <laughs> I just don't understand like we try to live out for God. We try to you know follow the word at 100 percent. we do whatever god tells us to do and it's so clearly written in the bible and, and it's clearly what is is good to do but when you show people these things for example you tell people hey you know what don't fraud the bus don't um don't steal don't lie to your parents oh who are you to tell me that why are you judging me only you're god, too christian only god can judge me like come on come on we, we have to wake up because you guys are really i can say really you guys are in deep sleep and deep slumber you're sleeping spiritually and you guys are spiritually it's time to wake sleep. up man. it's really time to wake up because we have to know who the number one priority is and that number one priority is god right god himself god and god only and who is god noah god is jesus and who's jesus jesus god and who's god the word of God. Oh, the, the word, word of God. God. Okay. Word of God. <laughs> the word of God. That's what I'm trying to get to. Okay, okay. So that means that we have to, if you say that you follow God, then that means that you follow the word of God. And if you make the equations, then you understand that if you don't follow what the word of God says, and you don't follow God, and you don't truly love him, right? I think I wanted to point out on that, that some people, they want to like, like, they want to get the easy access to heaven. If you guys <laughs> understand like what I mean. Like, there's some people they'll see the commands and be like, the commandments and be like well, you know what i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do this i'm not gonna do that and like all they all they tend to do is just focus on not doing those things that are written in the commandments but like that's not like the true benefit that's not what like we have to see that's not what we have to see and like what just wants their hearts he wants to see true change he wants to see people like actually have a like, intimate relationship with them like it's not just about all oh, not doing this command like it's not school like you don't pull the rules and all thing. that no yeah. like he wants to see people change like he wants you to walk with them that's that's how it's really supposed to be it's not just oh god like on judgment day you're not like oh god you i didn't i didn't i didn't go out partying i don't envy i don't know like it's, it's not that you actually have to change to grow spiritually and like you understand more like once you read the word of god, 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 read the word of god. in so many ways man so basically what we're trying to say is that if you want to grow spiritually, if you want to understand what being a true Christian is, then you have to meditate your word day yeah, and, and night. And this, we don't by that we don't mean one verse only. No. Like try reading chapters, try challenging yourself to read chapters, read books in the in the in the Bible, of course. But those things, then things will they'll start getting going from there. So those are one thing that can help you, that can benefit you a lot in so many ways, man. You understand like the difference between the fruits. Like you're gonna understand like true wisdom. You're gonna understand like how to be wise, cause we don't have all the answers. Only God does. And like there's gonna be some like certain times in our life where we're gonna struggle and such. And only God can comfort ourselves into that. It's not just 
I'm going to church on a Sunday, you, you feel like uh, as soon as the worship song comes, you have goosebumps, yeah. and after you're like, you know, I'm good, you know what, God's got me, nah, <laughs> yeah, it's none of that, you uh, like, like you said in our last video, you, like, you gotta make the decision in your mind to want to change, man, it's not gonna happen overnight, it's a struggle, but you gotta persevere, it's a process, a lot of people, they don't want to do that, that's why a lot of people, they don't read their Bible. They start things. They start saying stuff like, "Oh, only God can judge me," because they they know themselves that they're going through struggles in their lives. Like, let's be realistic. It's not time to joke around. Like, this, this is the time where you actually have to wake up. Wait, man. it's the last day. Yeah, it's the Jesus last Christ day. is coming back soon. There's no time for. I don't know, just being fake There's or no being compromised, or being systematic or compromising all these things. There's no time to be calling real disciples too Christian or radicals and stuff like that when we're the ones that are actually like following the word of God. Yeah. We have to wake up and truly read our Bibles and put God first. See, like putting God first is not just putting in your in your bio God first and then we go to your Instagram, what do we see? We see cleavage second. Like, Half naked pictures. Things you guys watch the nonsense. You no, know, like that's not what you mean by God first. You can say God first all you want in all your Bibles, but like the way God sees, like they're not putting you first. Nope. And some people he'll tell them straight up that they're not putting you first. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you that, on judgment, they'll tell you depart from me. Yep. I'm sure you don't want that. Like you do. <laughs> I'm sure you don't want that. <laughs> I don't I don't want that. Yeah, like, that's yeah. too scary just thinking about it, so man. I don't want it at all. Yeah. It's crazy. Like in those times, like those are the things that should truly convict you into want into wanting to change, change man. Yeah. Because obviously that happened to me, that happened to Yvonne. That's that's when stuff like actually started changing, actually started moving, and everything got better and better and better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> once we started reading our Bibles, once we stopped reading the verses <laughs> once a day, like trust me, like we've we've been through a lot of things, man. Lust, uh, all of that, all like day, it's yeah. it's crazy. But like at a point, we had to make the decision in our minds that we have to improve to do such things that are better. So trust that's me. one thing that really benefited me on know, but. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing for me, honestly, like, going through all these things, like, it made me learn lessons, to be honest, and when I uh, first took the decision to, I guess, um, truly stop um, indulging in all these things, uh, what I got was, how can I say, like, true peace and happiness yeah. and, and truly following the word is what really came on. Now I get to live a Christian life that's blessed, right? Like, I make mistakes, we all make mistakes, but we strive we strive to please god in everything that we do and by that i mean that we don't just say okay i'm gonna stop sinning and then we'll do the same sin the next day and then keep on going back and forth back and forth back and forth because then you're just that's playing games with god just giving birth to sin and that yeah. itself gives birth to death like that's not right like it's not all of us like all of us we're all called to be doing something and yeah. So many people, they don't know about that. Like, it says in the book of Matthew, in the Gospels, I believe, how Jesus calls us out to, like, go and make nation, go, like, in the nation, save these people, go make disciples. You look at the people that today, they don't do it at all. Like, at you all. look at the, like, we're supposed to be delivering people, dealing with demons. You look at the people today, they're not doing it at all. And you know like, why? You know why it's like that? Why I feel like it's like that? So you got people calling uh, people to Christians or Jesus freaks and stuff like that. And I think a main part of it is because they go to their church buildings and all they preach to them is, oh, you'll be blessed tomorrow. God will heal your problems. Don't worry. Come g give your tithe and you'll be blessed. Da -da 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 -da. All this all this nonsense and all this foolishness, this prosperity gospel. And prosperity. You, guys don't, you guys don't even know about um about repentance, about holiness, about about sincerity, about giving your, your whole life to Jesus. You guys don't know anything about that. All they know about is jumping in church and yelling, singing their <laughs> songs. Then they go home and and, and, they, and they go sin. They go disrespect their parents. They, like, like we gotta wake up. Like we really gotta wake up. Read your Bible. Do your research. Pray to God. Ask Him to reveal to you what's the truth. Like you need the true the gospel. Because at a point you're gonna have to go out to do certain things for God. You're not you're not supposed to be sitting in your church for like 20 years, <laughs> watching the same pastor do the same thing. Like yeah. no, it's not supposed to be like oh that. Gosh. Like the Jesus disciples themselves, they're with Jesus for what three years? Three years. Three years only. And then, and then at a point yeah. he had to like they had to go. They had to do their own thing. That's how it's supposed to be, but like you don't hear that in churches today. No, nope. you don't hear that in churches today. You see someone that's been in church for ten years, twelve years, eight years, seven years, and they still go back to sit on the bench and they're just listening like that. They don't even know how to preach themselves. You're not growing spiritually if you do that. <laughs> and the devil has you in a trap, right? Yeah. Because look, look, for example, if I take me and Noah, um, like when when do we start taking our Christians to seriously? Like what, like grade like twelve? Like grade like was that like it was three, grade four years twelve? Ago? But like 
a lot of stuff went through grade 12, so yeah. like after that, it was um, first year of university. Yeah, yeah that's, but like that's even before that, like we, we tried our best to like yeah. persevere, but like we we're in a circle in an environment where like there was too many worldly people, so like tough things were happening, but we still maintain our faith at a certain extent. And, and look at us now, though. Look at us now. It's only been uh, like about two, three years that we've been serious. And look at what, everything that we're doing for that. Like, we're making videos, gatherings, doing all these stuff. Like, it, and some and, people aren't telling me that this wouldn't even happen. Like, like they're saying that we can't be at this certain level if we don't go to church. Like, <laughs> and personally, <laughs> we don't go to church. We don't, we don't go to church we building. We fellowship. We are know we we read the Bibles, we do all their stuff. We evangelize, we, evangelize we do all different like stuff. We, we we do certain things. Like yeah. it doesn't have to be at a local church where yeah, you we just sit, there, sit down, and you sit down, and you go your home. Tides. <laughs> We're not saying it's wrong, but like yeah. at a point, you gotta go do your own you thing. Gotta, yeah. You're not supposed to be sitting down watching the same pastor for 20, 20 years, twenty five years, and and you're still a, a and you still a, a don't baby. Know, yeah, and it's like spiritually, you're still a baby. Yeah. <laughs> and like you start relying yourself onto that one pastor, you start idolizing him. Like, pastor, can you pray no. for me for this? Pastor, can you do this for me? It's we, not we, that. We gotta wake up. We're not saying that it's wrong. We're not saying like all these churches, what they're doing is bad, but we just encourage you guys to understand, like actually read your Bibles and actually understand what it means to go out and do certain things for Jesus. It's what Jesus wants to do. It's not what your pastor wants to do. If your pastor told you to stay and, and it's like past five, ten years, you know something's wrong. <laughs> something's wrong. You know something's wrong. Something's wrong. Tithing man. everything. Man. Come on, dude. There's a lot of things that we have to really go look back into the Bible. Yeah. And we follow God, not man. So we just encourage you guys to honestly just read your Bibles and understand what it means to truly be a disciple for God because mm -hmm. just like you said at the beginning of the video in John 14 15 it clearly says if you truly love me obey my commandments so many people they don't do that today so many people they're gonna say they're saying I'm not going to help I'm fine don't worry about me and like all that they don't read their Bible they don't obey God's Sad. commandments their actions it truly shows it all you can tell you that's when you got to test the fruits you can't just approve every person you see around so we just encourage you guys to do better. <laughs> Actually, read your word, man. I've seen this every video. For all of our videos, I'm going to be mentioning this at least once. Read please. your Bibles. Because it's truly important. It's a necessity in your walk with Christ. And if you don't do that and you do other things to get, like, a, I don't know. Like get a, to God? No. To get to God or work. a shortcut to heaven. It's not going to work, no. It's not going to work at all. So we just encourage you guys to do better. To do, <laughs> We just encourage you guys to do better and... um. Just make sure not to rely on your own knowledge, man. Don't rely on your own intelligence, nothing. Rely on the Bible and the Word of God only. So, God bless you guys. Christmas is here.